Okay, this is Dean with Jetpack America. We're going to give you a quick overview of how to take off your stock steering kit and replace it with the Venturi to get yourself flying. So we start first with your steering connection. This is what allows the steering nozzle to turn left and right. Take off the bottom nut. Use an Allen to pull off the end of the steering rod. Okay, so this here is the end of your reverse gate. So there's a piece that you're going to pop off. So you push in and you pop out. There you go. So those are your two rods you've now taken off. That allows you to free move the reverse gate. So next you're going to be taking off the hose, which is for the spout that comes out the back of the ski. So you remove that, let that hang free. Next you're going to go, that's for your um, engine cooling. Pull that off. Okay, so now you're going to get access to the bolts. So it's a 12 millimeter up top. And it's 14 down below. So we'll start with the bolts. Yeah. Okay, so use your power drill. Pull it right out. Both come out quick. Okay, now you're going to lift the reverse gate, which will give you access to the bolt on the top of the pump. You need four bolts all the way around. These are all 14, 14 mil. Pull these guys out. There's your full steering kit that has come off, and now you have access to your pump. Okay, so you have your reverse gate rod right there. We're actually going to pull that whole thing off. Then you're going to pull back on the sleeve, pop it off. Very simple. So if you purchased a dual impeller, you're going to pull this whole pump out. That'll give you access to the, the pump and the impeller and the shaft. You'll remove the, uh, the stock impeller and replace it with the dual impeller. We will have another video for the details on that one. So you're gonna prep, you basically take your same bolts that came out of the pump and you're now gonna put them into the Venturi. So you like, wanna use this bracket which will keep the pump from rattling around too much. So we're gonna show you how this all goes on, on together. Line them up, and kind of start them up. So, take your uh, drill, tighten it up. There you go. Okay, so after you use your drill, you do want to use your socket wrench to tighten it up a little bit tighter, but we're going to put the top brackets on first. So some people don't put these brackets on. We feel that it's a good way to secure the pump, minimize any movement when you're flying. Last two 
tightening turns on all these and you're good to go. to fly. Pop your C-clamps off here. You attach your U-pipe onto the end, clamp it up, and use your bracket over here to attach the U-pipe. hose goes to the front of the ski, and off you go.